All right, welcome to beautiful Shinjuku Park, one of my favorite parks in Japan. And today, I have a very special guest joining me. It's the Chris Broad. I am special, and I'm also sunburned. What is this Wacky Weekend Sunburn Edition? I know that you love being outdoors. I do. So I've decided we're not going to do that because you make me suffer. I make you suffer. Well, I, I Let's go into capsule hotels, Chris. Well, I made you suffer. I showed you snow monkeys. My reward is to get inside a glorified coffin. So today, I'm going to be taking you, Chris, to two capsule hotels. I mean, I haven't stayed in a capsule hotel in five years. I always find they're a little bit stuffy, mm -hmm. a little bit too contained, and also quite noisy, because it's like a dorm yeah. in a coffin. Well, I know that you love that. So <laughs> I found <laughs> Do two... I? Do I? I found two kind of interesting ones. One very futuristic for $20, and then I found a more of a premium one that has books and is very aesthetic and it's about $50 a night but you get the premium room so it's a BuzzFeed cheap yeah, yeah, versus exactly, expensive exactly, capsule exactly. Yeah, original so the first location we're going to be checking out today is Book in Bed a very popular and trendy capsule hotel famous for its wide variety of books that you're welcome to read as you can tell I'm clearly traveling right now this is my travel setup and when I travel I make sure I stay secure with NordVPN one of the things that NordVPN has been helping me with is that when I've been traveling I was in the middle of some shows in Japan but obviously when I change my location physically to the US, I can't watch some of those shows anymore. But thanks to NordVPN, I can change it right back to Japan and make sure I don't miss any of my favorite shows. Also, a lot of the Wi-Fi in the hotels isn't protected by anything, so I always use NordVPN to make sure that nobody's getting my data. You can also use NordVPN to make sure that you're getting the cheapest train, hotel, flight tickets available by stopping them from doing any shenanigans with your location and pricing. And with their brand new threat protection, you can get rid of those annoying intrusive ads whilst using your VPN. So if you want to make sure that you stay protected on the go, just like I am, make sure to smash that link in the description down below to get your very own NordVPN subscription. And if you want to get a deal, use the code on screen right now. And thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Back to the video. All right, let's have a look. Whoa, yo! Okay, that's pretty cool. It's a bit like a library. This is what like the library should have been like as a kid. You know what <laughs> I mean? It's like kind of hip, kind of spacious with a disco ball, because why not? This is like where every Instagrammer would take their like aesthetic photos, right? They'd be like, just reading, learning about the world. I think if you walked in here and you didn't know it was a capsule hotel, you wouldn't necessarily notice at first because the no. curtains are sort of very small and sort of concealed mm -hmm. between the books. Like, it just feels like a library with lots of weird curtains yeah. rather than a capsule hotel. I mean, there's, there's even more over here. Oh my God, it just keeps going. I wouldn't want to be down this end. This isn't this so is... much book and beds, it's just bed. <laughs> this is my room. What is this? <laughs> this is where I'm staying. <laughs> I have to sleep vertically like a vampire. There's something I'm wondering, and I don't know if I'm being stupid, or not. If you look at the bottom, there's like a little curtain, right? Right underneath. Is that a bed? No, it's for your shoes. Right. I'm stupid. In what universe could that possibly be a bed? I guess the only thing as a tourist that's not the best about here is that most of the books are in Japanese. But if you like looking at pictures, I guess that's good too. Or you want to take aesthetic Instagram photos with manga, then there's plenty of manga. <laughs> and after we were done exploring the common library area, it was time for us to explore a booth of our own. Look at, Whoa. Look at that. You can have your very own corner suite. I gotta say, this is probably one of the most interesting and coolest views I've seen. So over there, if you want this view, you can have the kind of aesthetic Japan train look with Seibu Shinjuku. The train's always going. And behind us is the nightlife area. There's a big square where people normally get really drunk. So you get the best of both the world of Shinjuku, I guess. Culture and drunk. Yeah, but you can read a book as well and you can chill. Honestly, this is this is awesome. I'm impressed by the, the actual sort of main room with all the beds. But like, if you're gonna stay in here, you might as well to stay in a normal hotel, no, right? No, no, this, this view is awesome. But this, isn't, this, this, isn't, this isn't the capsule hotel experience, is it? No, this no, is... it's not, it's not. If, so, you, if you want that view, there are good hotels around here that do it better. I, nah, that's, but you don't he to loves it, books. he loves book and bed. This is awesome. Book and bed! It's a painful thing getting into a capsule. I never thought about that apartment, to be honest with you. There's no TV or anything, it is literally just a mm. wooden box. It's kind of like a coffin, but yeah, yeah. somewhat spacious. And you have plugs <laughs> and a light. You also have a safe and you can put some stuff up here as well, so that's pretty nice. Who built this ladder? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, dude, this is a nightmare. Imagine seeing someone like this Imagine. getting into your room. <laughs> Imagine if you come in here drunk, you'd be like, oh, <laughs> I don't really like capsule hotels. It's just a bit of a gimmick. More often than not, hotels are the same price for a whole room. So it almost feels like it's unnecessary to even stay in. But if there's a gimmick like this, I think it, it, it does have some merit. I mean, I don't really see this as a capsule hotel. I see it more like a, a library where you can also have a nap. There's no air conditioning or room control and yeah. you need one because once you shut this curtain, there is no airflow and it's really unpleasant. And that's why I don't stay in capsule hotels. If you want to have the full rotisserie chicken experience, <laughs> stay here. I'm worried I'm going to pull like the whole ladder. <laughs> I don't think there's any way you could do that. It's like in military maneuvers. 
Oh. I do like the idea of just being like, oh, I'm bored, I'll read a book, I'll read about a hammer, all right? And then you get in the bed <laughs> and you're like, oh yeah, hammers are good. I've never read a book about that. It's that sort of spontaneous excitement of discovering a new book, right? Whether it's hammers or sexy guy or cosmic wonder, light source, diamond equinox. What the f is that? And we found a wide variety of interesting books, ranging from artsy books to books about hammers, as Chris said. Would I want to sleep here? No, not really. Because A, they don't look ventilated at all, so it's going to be a sauna. When you try and sleep and it's like 26 degrees Celsius yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's no way to get a fan or anything, you're going to quickly regret the choice of staying here. I do think you need like a television and a fan and a few more things in the capsule to make it actually bearable. A television, Chris? Oh my goodness. In book and bed. It's about books, not television, Chris. The interior design is really good there. That's like a oh, 10 yeah. out of 10. No. Get out. The one English manga. No joke. It's Me. JoJo. It's Maybra. No way, it's all in English. Ignore what I said earlier. Now it's a 10 out of 10. This is worth the money. <laughs> Come here, you can read JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Battle Tendency, Part 2, Solid R. The whole Battle Tendency is here as well. How to win over Connor in one foul. All right, there we go. You know, I'm supposed to be the influencer, but I am very easily influenced. <laughs> There's a whole cafe area over there as well. So if you do want to just come here and drink coffee, you can do that. It's definitely one of the more cool and unique capsule hotels that I've seen in Japan. And I do really like this whole sitting area here where you can just read and look out to Shinjuku. And I hear Chris doing something. What is he doing? Hey, Thomas. Oh, my. I have another funny <laughs> joke for you. No, God, no, there he is. no. It's your favorite. We should never you see the other one. Look, it's the story of the Chris Abroad channel. <laughs> Tales of horror. Oh, no, no, they do not have this. Trump, think like a billionaire. <laughs> we, this is the CRISPR. Billionaires love their jobs. Not because their jobs make them wealthy, but because they wouldn't have become so wealthy doing something that they hated. Pretty good advice, isn't it? Same. This Trump guy, he's onto something. Oh my god, I'm, I'm running away from Chris before he gets us cancelled. All jokes aside, this is probably the best like Japan guide style book. It covers like all mm. aspects of the culture, from like the work life, the Naruto phenomenon, <laughs> to like martial arts. But like it sort of just gives you like a really good insight into the Japanese mindset, what it's like to work in Japan. If, you, if you're coming from zero, this book is really good and it saved me quite a few times early on. So I recommend, check it out. Even better than Donald Trump's book. There's one more thing we haven't checked out. It's the food and drink menu. <gasps> and after having our delicious coffee aesthetically made, it was time for bed. Remember that really nice corner view room that we saw earlier? Well, that's actually Chris's room for the evening. And for me, I get the tiny little capsule. So I've just gotten in my room, which, you know, is great. Except, what is this? <laughs> what is this? I gotta say, I'm not a fan of making my own fucking bed. I know. Yeah, yeah, call me privileged, whatever. I'll, I'll gladly be privileged if I have to pay money to do this shit. I hate doing this. It's the worst part of laundry. I will say, the best thing about this book and bed is the books. The bed is fine. I can hear, like, every single little movement around me. It's so weird. But uh, I guess I'll try and sleep for now. And so it was time to sleep in my spacious plywood coffin. And I gotta say, it wasn't the best sleep I'd ever had. And it looked like Chris was having a much more relaxing time with his spacious double bed and his corner view. And obviously waking up, I didn't look too happy. I woke up about six or seven times during the night. The problem is, whenever anyone gets up or does like anything, you inevitably wake up as well. And also at eight o'clock in the morning, they start playing elevator music, which gets a little bit annoying. It'll be interesting to see how Connor did in his glorified coffin. Do you sleep all right? I keep waking up. How many times? Mm, like 10. Uh, you, you beat me in, in wake up top trumps. It's really hot in here. I didn't have that problem. Oh my god, it's like, a, it's like a sauna, dude. And after complaining for hours on end, it was time that we got our complimentary breakfast, which is included with every booking. All right, give us the review. Egg, lettuce, mustard, pretty good combo. Shut up. Funnily enough, while we were staying in Book in Bed, another YouTuber was also staying there. Chiaki, who mentioned that sleeping there as a woman is a little bit uncomfortable because it's a mixed dorm and there's nothing really stopping anyone from opening your curtain if they want to. But I wanted to know what she thought out of 10. So I'll give five. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. A 
crushing <laughs> blow. A crushing blow. So you mentioned normally in capsule hotels it would be separated between men yeah. and women. Yeah, some places nowadays have different floors and normally for only girls and some floors only boys. Yeah. But here it's all mixed. So But if it wasn't mixed you wouldn't get to see Connor and I, so <laughs> That's true, that's true. So Benefit. that's a good thing. Yeah. But also I was scared if Chris might come to my room. <laughs> 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 it's because you picked up the Trump book. People were scared what you were gonna <laughs> what you were gonna do. Out of a deal. Out of a cancellation at this rate. <laughs> the egg sandwich was amazing. Alright, well we just finished our stay at Book and Bed and I'm tired. Quality of sleep is a solid like five out of ten. I know, it was alright, it was it's, good. It's a cool place, it's a cool vibe, it's good for an Instagram photo. Yeah, I mean overall. I was kind of happy with it. It's all right. It's an experience. And after staying at Book and Bed, it was time for our next capsule, which is very much a more futuristic looking capsule hotel. It focuses more on just the sleeping aspect and then getting on with your day. And every single room costs around $10. So it is extremely affordable. Wow. <laughs> It looks like some kind of like space odyssey. This is so different to the bed and book one. Do you like being on the floor or are you kind of a... I'll, I'll live with it. You'll live with it? No f***ing ladders for me. It looks like you're in like a sensory deprivation chamber. <laughs> I'm right up here. I'm, I, I'm a big boy. I get the top bunk. There's not really much to say about it. It's... it's a capsule. It looks a lot more comfortable it does. than yesterday. It looks like 2001 a Space Odyssey. I'm going to be probed by the aliens. Please, aliens, take my butt cheeks. <laughs> There's one plug and one USB, which is probably fine. This one doesn't really have anything special to it. You know, bed and book had books. <laughs> this one just has bed. <laughs> it's very, very just gets the job done. Come in, get in your capsule, f*** off. I think just for pure sleep, this is the place to be because it's so quiet apart from our annoying voices British <laughs> accent but the soothing David Attenborough-esque yeah. accent of a British person will be a nice pleasant way to sleep. There's a bunch of nine hour locations across all of Tokyo and the bed is also really comfortable and when you pair that with the really affordable pricing it's easy to understand why people come here. A lot of businessmen also come here just to sleep for a few hours and then leave. It's super cheap, super easy to get a room. The only downside being is that you have no room for big luggage. All right, very quickly before we go to bed. Let me show you the bathroom. It's very futuristic. It's so bizarre. This looks like something out of a Black Mirror episode. Like, look at this. Proceed to the work environment for your workers' evaluation. Please make sure to spend your happy tokens. So I guess all we have to do now is to enjoy the room and sleep and then give our review tomorrow. It's kind of creepy how there's like no one else here though. These are very like touristy places. Tourists love this shit. Yeah. Same thing with stand caps on hotels yeah. these days. Because business hotels are cheaper, you get yeah, a whole right. room. But the absence of tourists, it's just us in a massive capsule room. Isn't this <laughs> so fun? Isn't it fun? Futuristic Isn't it play fun? What are you assuming, my friend? Well, assuming that's high. All right. Oh my God. It's... <sighs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Come here often. <laughs> One thing that I like really f***ing hate about these things is like getting undressed. It has to be a f***ing pain in the f***ing ass. Like, how do I get my pants off? Where do I even put them? I don't have like pyjamas, so I bet. I like get naked and f***ing it like this. It's so f***ing dumb. Why do I have a stain on my shirt? When did that happen? I slept okay. I mean, it wasn't the best. It wasn't the worst. I think it's annoying that the plug is right above your head, so the wire has to come on your face. Other than that, it's not bad. Good morning. I'm asleep. Okay, you. Maybe. Well, we've just finished our second stay at nine hours. What did you think? I'm feeling refreshed. I actually slept a lot better this time. Nine hours is the place for sleep. Book and bed if you want to book. If you want to read about Donald Trump, that's the place to go. You know, <laughs> Learn the secrets of success. Oh my God. There was no audio. There was no sound, no ambience in the nine hours. It's like soundproofed. You're in your little futuristic coffin. Good or bad, depending on if you like that or not. Mm. Because you could hear every single man coughing and sneezing every single time and my GoPro would make loud beeps when I was filming my POV and that was really awkward. Capsule hotels used to be really gritty and unpleasant and yeah. a lot of them have disappeared because for the same price you can get a business hotel room right with which your own just, big bed, yeah, your own room, private room, your TV. own bath which is what I would prefer but you know if you've never done a capsule hotel and you come to Japan for the first time do it one night 
check it out one night. Book of bed was kind of cool. You do walk in, it's like, wow, it's a library with I, some beds. I like the fact that it has like a coffee shop as well. So you kind yeah. of feel like you can kind of almost relax in the place without, I, you know, whereas nine hours is like, come in, prison. sign into your Black Mirror episode and then leave. <laughs> it was a bit prison-like, but I did notice Book and bed was really popular with girls. It was yes. just like everyone was girls, and then just me and Connor. <laughs> a wolf among sheep. The C Dog VA story. But <laughs> but let's shut the fuck up. <laughs> but let us know what your favourite capsule hotel was and which one you would stay at. Links to both are in the description down below. So if you do want to come to Japan and stay there, you can do so. Thank you to Chris for joining me. Make sure to subscribe to his channel. He needs all the subs he can get. Please help me. Please it's like help a charity me. at this point. <laughs> help me. We need all the subs we can get. And we'll see you next time on Wacky Weekend. Bye. For Bye. Now.